So you can see it is a diagonal pattern, right? Are you kind of palpitating with your thumb? Your yep. Thumb? Yep. I'm guiding the motion, basically, with this hand. Right. I'm allowing the motion to occur in that direction. This hand is doing most of the pressure, right? This hand is kind of guiding. On the way up, it's my lower hand that's pushing this hand doing the guiding. Right. Okay. But you can see it. It's a diagonal pattern, right? It's two, two movements um, in one. The other diagonal would be elevation with retraction and depression with protraction. Okay, so that's the other diagonal. So if you're looking at from above, that diagonal goes this way, whereas the other diagonal goes this way. Right? So you got the two diagonals. Now let's say you wanted to facilitate this, I would put my hand here. I would I would say, Garth, bring your shoulder up towards your ear and forward. Okay? And I'm giving him some resistance to that motion. Okay? Bring your shoulder blade down and back. And I would try to give some resistance to that motion. Okay? Bring your shoulder blade up and forward. Now your hand has to be in the position that you can resist that. Right? If it's at the back, it's going to be pretty hard. So it has to be in the direction of movement. Pull your shoulder blade back and down. Okay? Push your shoulder blade up and forward. Okay, so I'm doing some PNF for a scapula. If I'm going in the other position, my hand's going to be more at the back, right? Because what I'm going to do is it's going to come down and forward, and then I want you to pull your shoulder blade back and up. Okay, so now it's going in that dangle. I'm going to move my hand to the front because it's going to push against me. Bring your shoulder blade forward and down. Kind of have to think about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Pull your shoulder blade up and back. Bring your shoulder blade forward and down. Okay. Bring your shoulder blade up and back. Now it's not so much that you're, you're going to be doing this clinically, but it's good to have just the terminology 